So this is going to be one of more of the, I don't know, technical parts of this build. Uh, it's getting the just the right angle for uh, these side rails at the top. Because I don't want to just put a straight rail across since the posts are different heights. So I'm going to do two rails on the tops that are slanted like you saw if you've been watching the other videos um, in one of the first or second videos that I put out about this. So this is kind of, I've been kind of putting it off because I wasn't exactly sure how it's going to figure out how to measure this properly and get the angles right. Um, and I ended up doing some like really rough um, kind of drawings on there to see what it, what it would look like or just to give me an idea. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this square here. I'm going to draw a straight line. I'm going to draw it on just a scrap piece of wood. Okay. So now that I've got this straight line, for example, Let's pretend that there's a post right here. And then this, this is another post. So it needs to be six inches from one post, the bottom of this rail, on the one post to the next post at the bottom of the rail. So it's about, what I don't know exactly what the pitch is, um, but that's what I'm figuring out here. So I'm gonna make a mark on this side do your best to keep this as square as possible because the square, more square you get it, the better your results are going to be. So six inches is right here. Now, the other important part is the distance between your posts. So an easy way for me to remember that, since I've already got some of these bottom rails done, I'll just grab one of these, these bottom rails. And I'll come over here, and I'll line up this edge, right there, make sure it's relatively square, right along the line. I'm going to make a mark at the edge of this one, where the post is going to be. So now I've got these two marks right here and right here. And this isn't going to be long enough. But this is. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to line the corner up right here. On that mark. And where this line meets where I just marked. I'll put that at that point right there. When you're ready, when you got this lined up, just go ahead and draw yourself a line. Okay, that makes it pretty simple. Uh, so this is the angle, the actual angle that I need. Okay, so from here, I'm going to take this rail, and I've got it pretty much laid out exactly where I need it. Line it back up with this line that I just drew. And since this would be, if, we're, if you're imagining the post, this corner over here is going to be where the post is. So I'm going to take my pencil and just hold down and mark on the bottom side of this rail. All right. So there I have it. That's where I'm going to need to cut for the tenon. Now, to do the other side, what 
you're going to want to do is you're going to want to transfer this line across the board. So take a square. Line it up with the edge. draw your line. What that's going to do is it's going to give you a reference point on this side to where that line on the bottom side is. And you want to make sure that, let's draw an imaginary post here. You might be able to see this, you might not. So the, the post is going to be basically right here. So this is where the post is, and so you want to make sure that that line that you just drew on the back side of this over here matches up with this line here. So and if it helps you, you can uh, transfer this line on this side to this side too so you can see exactly where it's at. All right, so you got that. I'll show you real quick. So this is the line we just drew. And then I transferred it on both corners like that. And I'm going to line it back up with this, our reference line our, for our angle. All right, that's all lined up now. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to draw a line on this side, the bottom side of this rail. And then what all I have to do is I just have to transfer these two lines. You can see these are parallel with each other. Just transfer them all the way around the board, and then I have exactly where I need to cut each tenon out. So I'm going to do it on this one and the other one and then I'll be able to cut these tenons out and that would be good. So I just went back to my drawing to figure out where I need to put all the top um, mortises in. So for the back of the crib, it needs to be 25 inches, yeah, 25 inches from the top of the bottom rail to the bottom of the top rail, if that makes sense. And I believe that there's three quarters of an inch from the of the difference between the, the tenon and the actual outside of the rail. So if we're looking at this, it's three quarters of an inch right here uh, that I have to subtract from, or add to that 25 inches um, on both sides. So I'm going to measure from the bottom or the top of the, the bottom. Talk about tongue twisters top of the bottom mortise to, and I'm going to measure out, so let's make sure, double check this. Yeah, it's three quarters of an inch, so I'm going to add an inch and a half total uh, to the 25 inches, so I'm going to measure 26 and a half inches directly from this mortise to up here, and then so once, once I get that one measured, then I will measure out the size of the mortise which looks like it needs to be one, two, three, three and three quarters of an inch. So then I'll measure that one and then I'll transfer them all to the other uh, posts. For the front, it's 19 inches that I'll have to add the inch and a half. So I'll have to mark 20 and a half from here to the bottom of the top mortise. Okay, so it's complex, but it's simple. Yeah. All right, so quick update. I've got all the mortises routed out, and all I need to do now is take the hammer and chisel to them and make them square. And then I should be able to pretty much mock up the whole thing. Just got the two 
side rails to cut the tendons out. And then I can mock up the whole frame of the crib. So that's really exciting. Cut.